Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8, check out that Galaxy S8 playlist in the description below. In this video we will be looking at the Bixby feature and how to remove it from your home screen and how to customize the Bixby button itself. Uh, to make it into something a little more useful. So there are two ways to get into the Bixby feature. The first one being if you swipe left on your home screen, it opens up the Hello Bixby screen. If you haven't yet set it up, you will have a different window than what I have here. And an, uh, the other way to get to the Bixby feature is by hitting the Bixby button, which is down here, right below your volume up and down buttons. You select that button. It also takes you to the same Bixby page. So if you wanted to remove the Bixby off your home screen, which is this one where you just swipe over, if you want to remove that, go ahead and press down on the home screen, not on one of the apps, but on the home screen. It'll open up a screen similar to this one. You can go ahead and deselect the Hello Bixby. And once you have done that, you will then notice that you are unable to swipe left to get to the Bixby page. At this point, the Bixby feature is not yet disabled. It is just turned off for the home option. If you still hit the Bixby button, you will see that it still takes you back to the Bixby page. If you wanted to remove the Bixby uh, feature or customize it to make sure that you don't use that button to get there, what you're gonna wanna do is go into your Play Store and download BX Actions. I found this to be one of the more useful, better, easier to use ones, and it is free, not costing you anything. Once you have it downloaded, what you're going to want to do is select open. And from here, we will hit let's start here at the bottom, accept their license agreement. Hit next down here at the bottom. To start actions from a lock screen, you need to set up Bixby once. Uh, please, please press the Bixby button now. I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. And from here, I'm going to select next again. Here it gives me the comfort mode or the performance mode. Either one uh, works, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and select performance mode. From here, I'm just going to, it gives us information on how to activate it. So go ahead, once you've read it, select OK and slide down. And right here where it says BX Actions for Performance, select that and turn this on. So now that it is on, we can go back and we will be in our Bixby app. For those of you that may have been kicked out, you can go ahead, slide over, find your BX Actions uh, button, and we will be using the Remap button actions. So we'll go ahead and select that. And right at the top, we have here the Choose Action Google Assistant. Uh, the very first thing you're going to want to do is either enable or disable um, your Bixby. I'm going to disable it because I don't want it. Uh, if you select Enable, you will be able to add a secondary function. So if you click the Bixby button, it will open up the Bixby page and it'll open up another feature, the one that you selected. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go through a lot of the features that it gives you to substitute the Bixby button for whatever button you want. Uh, there's the home button, the camera, custom app, custom shortcut, Google Assistant, Google Now, Task Manager, Power Button, Notification Center. There's just a bunch of them. The one that I tend to be using the most is the flashlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and leave the BX Actions page. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. Now, instead of when I hit the Bixby button, which is this one here, the Bixby screen doesn't turn on. It simply turns on my flashlight, it takes the phone first to the home screen, and the flashlight turns on and off. And if you, let's say, you selected one and you want to customize it, um, change it, go back into your BX Actions, and back to the Remap Options, select what you want to do, and from here, uh, just go ahead, scroll down, find whatever you want to do, let's say it's the Notification Center, so we'll go ahead and keep it there. And now what it's gonna now what it's gonna be doing instead of you sliding down to get notifications, all you're gonna have to do is just hit the Bixby button and it slides it down for you, which is helpful, but I still prefer the flashlight feature. So that is how you customize the Bixby button, how to remove the Bixby application from the home screen. The Bixby information is still on your phone. You will still be able to uh, find it through your apps and still be able to launch it. But just this way, you are able to use the Bixby button for something more useful. If there's an app or something that you are constantly using, you can go ahead and set it and make it more customizable to you. 
and just a better all-around usage for the phone. So that's all you guys. That's all I got for you guys in this one. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I will do the best I can to answer them. If you guys have any recommendations, any kind of feedback, if this was helpful, let me know. I really do appreciate it, and I love hearing that I was helpful and I was able to help somebody out. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys would like to see more Galaxy S8 tutorials, check out the link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.